Here's an example about electric potential and the potential energy of point charges. Q1 minus 10 microcoulombs is placed at the origin and Q2 1 microcoulomb is at 3 and negative 1 centimeters. What is the electric potential at point B which is at 3 2 centimeters and compare the potential energy of a 10 microcoulomb charge at point P with that of a negative 10 microcoulomb charge at point P. So I've drawn my diagram with Q1 and Q2 and point P. The potential of a point charge is given by 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught Q over R. So to find the electric potential caused by two point charges, we add the electric potential of the first charge and the electric potential of the second charge. 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught is 9 times 10 to the 9. Q1 is negative 10 microcoulombs and the distance from point P is going to be calculated with the square root of 0 0.03 squared plus 0 0.02 squared. That's a Pythagorean theorem. For calculating potential we have to take into account the signs of the charges. So Q1 being a negative charge creates negative electric potential in the space around it. The electric potential of Q2 is given by 9 times 10 to the 9 multiplied by the charge with the 1 microcoulomb and divided with by the distance from Q2 to point P. And from Q2 to point P is 3 centimeters, so 0 0.03. The electric potential at point P is minus 2.2 times 10 to the 6 volts. The potential energy of a charge placed at point P will be Q multiplied by V, the potential at point P. So the potential energy of the 10 microcoulomb charge is 10 microcoulombs multiplied by negative 2.2 10 to the 6 volts. That's negative 22 joules and the potential energy of the negative 10 microcoulomb charge will be 22 joules. So what's the difference between a positive potential energy and a negative potential energy? Well a charge with a positive potential energy if released will move away from the system. The charge with the negative potential energy if it's released will move towards the system. Spread the joy of physics!